Hello everyone and welcome back to more Ascension Chapter 3! We are back and we are currently in Adicia! Ooh, fancy, fancy! In the nice desert kind of looking place. So anyways, in the last episode, we left our Nomad camp near North Cliff because it's obviously too dangerous for Ida and the gang to stay now that, you know, obviously King Kale is like fucking pissed off because she got away. So before we actually left the place, we kind of talked around the camp, got in touch with everybody, uh, seen I found herself a little pet squirrel. We also talked to our uncle, Landon, who um, met us via the whole letters thing. Yeah, we met a whole bunch of letters about like all these nobilities and royalties that want to talk to us and are like supporting us in our cause and stuff like that. So. Everything is like really low key, low profile kind of thing because uh, obviously nobility. Some of the people of nobility said that they are not allowed to outright support someone who's been labeled a traitor by the royal crown. So yeah, we're gonna be a lot of top secret meetings going on, and currently we are in the midst of one. So we before that though, we met up with Landon in the forest, and Landon was talking about how he he. Um, what did we talk about? <laughs> what did we talk about? He talked about how... Oh yes, he revealed the fact, uh, some couple facts about uh, Ida's mother, the queen, Queen Kathleen, and how, you know, nobles are technically, you know, people of the dead, and the whole Farana ritual was supposed to, you know, bring them back from the dead, and that's, and in doing so, gives them emotions and, like, the ability to feel things again. So yes, and then also he, she, also Landon also revealed the fact to Ida that yeah, Kathleen is now dead because you know, Sinius, the advisor, framed it so that you know the dagger that he stole from Ida with the eagle insignia, he made everyone to believe that it's the eagle's doing, and now you know also to trick Kale into thinking that as well. So and also the fact that he also revealed that if. Um, if Ida chooses to kill Kale, then that means that she'll become she'll revert back to being a full noble again, because you know Kale failed to do that. K yeah, Kale failed to become a full noble when he tried to kill her, and since he miscalculated the fact that she you know ended up surviving, he's only half noble, and so yeah, so he she Ida can't kill him. That's out of the option. That's out of the question. So. There's that, and then afterwards Landon promised Ida that he would also be leaving with his family out of Milan because it is too dangerous now as well. Ida, like, you know, um, uh, tells, uh, asks Diego to, like, make sure that he gets escorted, really, like, he gets escorted safely back to Tehran, I think it was, and yeah, that's where we left off, and basically we, I think the only reason why we're here in Adisha in the first place is because Landon said that uh, this would be the first place that Kale would, you know, um, you know, unleash his little silver army on. So that's why you gotta get in touch with the queen, gotta ask her, so, her for some backup and shit like that, like gotta, you know, help her out and shit, and she's also helping out our cause as well. So that's why we here in Adicia, and we met up with the, um, this old friend of a Diego who runs the silk place of pleasure and love and whatever the hell. So, uh, I think her name was... What is her name? What's her name again? The uh, Catalina. Yes, her name is Catalina. So we meet it with her, and so we gotta sneak the, sneak Ida into the castle. But because she's just full out or noble, we gotta go find materials and find stuff in order to make a dress for Ida in order for her to blend in. So that is where we left off. We talked to everyone here in this place already. I swear we did. Yep, we sold Jace to the to this place. We already talked to him, we already talked to her. She was the one who gave us the list of things that we need to buy and also the money to buy it. So now we gotta go ahead out to the street, the back street to get our shit. And hopefully we can do some hag hag haggling, haggling, yes, that's what they call it, haggling, because we are about to save some money. I ain't about to buy, I ain't about to get ripped off. So anyway, so, oh, here we are, we have more, two more people to talk to, which is Cole and Sky. so let's talk to Cole first. Cole, how you feeling? Cole was supposed to, like, leave our group because he was so done with Diego's shit, but then he was like, but no, Ida's been so good to me, and I want to be faithful to her, so that's where he is. That's just how... He is still here with us now. Cole, what's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? Can't take the heat? Uh, nothing. It's a little loud inside. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Ah. 
Ah, yes, and I keep bumping into people and barging into rooms I really shouldn't. Yeah, that's true. Right, it's your first time here in Odisha, right? Do you find do you need help finding your way? I could take you I could take you to Oh no. No, where I can I can manage on my own. Oh, alright. I guess he's like still since he is blind and since he was bullied as a kid for being really helpless and blind, he's kind of a little touchy on that subject still, I believe. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I don't need help walking. I can use the sounds to show me the way. It's just a little confusing as it's a loud city and the stones they use in making these buildings, it's a little different from the ones they use in Valdan, which makes them harder to detect and, and I'll, but I'll be fine, don't worry. Alright, cool. If you say so, I have a lot of faith in you. Well, you better get used to the place soon because I might get lost. Last, you Last, your sense of direction certainly needs some work. I know, I'm just horrible with it. Okay, Sky, what do you got? What do you got to say to me? Or Diego? <laughs> Last, you would. He's afraid of you. What? Good. Anyone else you want me to handle? What? The cook? Who? Yeah, you're on your own with that. He is scary. I see you guys are being really civil with each other, despite the fact that you all y'all thought that Diego betrayed us. He just looks that way. He is a he is a real softy. Seriously? Yeah, he adopts kittens. The entire hideout is full of cats thanks to him. Sigh, and he w and we wear black. Last fine cookies or chocolate cake? The one you made back in Ildis. I liked it. Hey, what is this going on? What is this budding romance? This forbidden love going on? It's the love-hate relationship. What is this? Uh, so last, I don't have Ida. Huh. I was just leaving. Yeah, sure. Hey, sure. Don't. You know who else does? You know who else you used to bake for? Ida. Jalen. Who the hell is Jalen? Sai. Who the fuck is Jalen? You baked for Jalen, and now you're baking for Diego. Not for Diego. For the uh huh Eagles. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Not all of them are bad. Look at Cole. Yeah. Oh, why so protective? What? I'm not. <laughs> Guy. It's nothing. I just baked some cookies one day and a few of the Eagles members were there. I so I let them have a taste and they loved it. One of them even cried. <laughs> Aww, they seem like like some of them seem like softies, like a bunch of softies. I don't know, Ida. Most of those guys are kids. I know what they do and what they are, but they deserve a cookie once in a while. Right. Everybody deserves a little love. Oh, even Diego, the guy who ordered your father I know Ida, stop it. I'm not judging you, Sky. You love who you love. I don't... Yeah, go ahead. You may have a little crush on him. I understand, girl. Deny it, Sky. Screw you. Me? You sure, you sure you don't mean Diego? What is wrong with you? Leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. I will, but your problem won't... I will, but your problems won't. You're in love with your father's murderer. I'm... I... Deny it, Sky. Say you aren't in love with the guy who killed your father, who got me tortured and almost killed twice. Oh come on, Ida. You gotta, you gotta live to, for, you know, you gotta learn to forgive, kind of thing. But I guess in a way you are right because he did kind of almost screw you over. You, why are you doing this? I hate you. You like you hate Diego? Should I be expecting a kiss from you soon then? How did you know? What? How did I know what? Uh, by the old sheets. <gasps> you already made out with him. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You kissed him. She's not so loud. When? Yeah. On Till's wedding. Were you drunk? Were you drunk? Were you drinking? Of course you were. I told him not to touch you. You were drunk. No, it I it wasn't him. It was me. I kissed him and he stopped me, Ida. He just left without saying anything. Wow, damn, girl. Wait, are you are we talking about the same Diego? I was surprised too, at myself and at him. I don't know why I kissed him. Maybe I tried to challenge him. Maybe I tried to beat him at his own game. Maybe I want I just wanted to kiss him. I don't know, but he won again. Wow. Damn, so I don't know, Ida. Either people can change or it takes a lot of time to really get to know someone. Maybe both. Are you talking about yourself or Diego? Both. Yes, both. <laughs> Damn, Sky! Goddamn, girl! Well, I, I support your decisions. I know Ida has reasons to be mad at this, but like, hey, man, it's your life. It's what you want to do. You do it, whatever makes you happy. Anyways, we gotta go to the markets. I was totally expecting to go shopping right away, not get caught in this drama. Whatever. Anyways, where is our list? Ooh, that's not it. List. I need to find some. No, that's old. 
That is old shit. Hello? Didn't I get a list? Oh, anyways, I'll just talk to these two. Your animal is eating my persimmons. But persimmons are good. Yue Yue does not. Yue Yue good. You gonna pay for that, you little? I'm sure Phelan will pay for it. Or he'll just stare at the shopkeeper and be like, fine. You gonna pay for my persimmons, elf, or, or your little rat's going to jail? Uh, what you say? <laughs> what you say, boy? <laughs> Melodian squirrels. Gah, <laughs> don't eat persimmons. Hey guys, there you are. Hey, god, goodness gracious. Phelan, stop scaring the lovely old shopkeeper. I'm sorry, sir, we will leave right away. Yes. Oi, you ain't leaving nowhere. Someone's gonna pay for my persimmon. Girl, I just got me some money and I need to use it to buy my shit. Not pay for your petty thievery, falsely accusedness. <laughs> Look, genius, I know a scam when I see one, and right now you're playing like you know, an addition boy with a rich client. I'm going to give you until the count of ten. By the time I'm done, you will be gone. Taking care of your precious persimmons, or I will personally take them and shove them down your throat one by one, slowly until you literally start turning orange. Yes, what, well, but I... Now shut the hell up. One. Hey, I'm not... Five. That's not even count... Nine. Shit. <laughs> That's right. That's right, motherfucker. Don't mess with Ida. Sigh. You are so intimidating, Phelan. and always scaring people. You need to work on your social skills. <laughs> He's like, and you're one to talk. Whatever, Phelan. I saved you from spending money on a guy who's just looking for some extra cash. Anyways, I need a little shop. God damn it. Do I gotta buy all this? Oh my god, I gotta buy all this. Do I have enough money? Okay. I'll buy one. I'll buy this. I'll buy this. And I'll buy this. Guess I'm not ha I'm not haggling. Pirate's outfit and addition chocolate. <gasps> addition chocolate. Oh my god, it's only five dollars too. Shit. Okay, okay, done. We're done. We're done here. Okay, we're done. We're, we're, we're just gonna go back. To the clinic? Where is that? Hey, what are you doing here? Bay, what's the bay doing here? Are you sure it was him? Uh, yes sir, he looked just as you described. I'm not sure how it's going to help you though. I was only a child when I last saw him. What are you, l what are you lurking around looking for strange people, Xander? Hello? Thank you, every bit of information helps. Who are you looking for? Yeah, what was that? Nothing. Nothing. Xander, why are you hiding shit from me? I'm looking for Mi for Myron. He was here, Ida. I don't know what he is planning, but I know he was planning some. He is planning something. Ah, so he's looking for his old teacher, the one, the guy who was like he he did the Ferrana ritual, the the necromancy guy. Yeah, he's good at it apparently. Was Xander's teacher? Yep, <laughs> that's your old teacher, right? Yes, he was the instructor who dealt with my trials. You two were close. We were. He was like a father to me. He taught me everything I needed to know about being a ma being a mage. Yes. So what happened? Yeah. Don't want to talk about it. Necromancy happened. Oh, all right. Uh, what do you know about water magic? Um, not much. Yeah, that it's a type of healing magic, right? I guess. Ooh, kind of like you know water bending. You know how water bending also heals as well. Dang. It is usually. In Myron's case, it's not. He was a. A Thalon, like me. It's some name given to all dangerous magic. Ja dangerous magic. The dark side of nature. There are two sides of every magic, Ida. Thalon and Tamara. Black and white. Fire has light. Light is Tamara. Not dangerous. Doesn't hurt anyone. But there is also Infernal. The it's Talon. Dangerous. The power I have. Also my curse. Right. You do, bur you like, you do like to burn shit down. You're angry. Myron's power is a Talon too. He uses water as like a weapon. He uses water like a weapon. Necromancy is a dangerous practice on its own, but if it's used with a talent power, especially water, it's, well, he needs to be stopped. Really? Is he like some sort of crazy madman who is like, yeah, yo, I can water bend the shit out of everyone and just whip their shit. And also blood bend. Oh my god, is that a thing here? So will we, so will you kill him? Yeah. I have to. I was a student, Ida. It's my job, my responsibility. But why did he go rogue? Why? Is he just power hungry? Funny how you, funny how you dabbled in necromancy. Kind of ironic, yeah. I had no choice. Well, you thought I was dead, so. Well, technically you had a choice. Yes, letting you go wasn't a choice. Aww. No, it wasn't. It was a necessity, Xander. One way or another, you will have to let me go one day. I know. Yes. Do you? 
Do you now? Anyways, he has a quest, apparently, so uh, what's up? Yeah, guess what I found. Ida, what did you steal this time? Hey, I didn't steal. Hey, I didn't steal anything. Yes, yet. Take it. Is it chocolate? Yeah, that's chocolate. Yeah, I knew buying chocolate was a good idea, even though I technically I kind of bought it for myself. But hey, you can have it too, because I'm a nice person. I know you like them. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say those things. I don't like it when you talk about necromancy, and I don't like it when we argue about it. So, chocolate? You know, to, to make up with it? Yeah, make up with each other? Yeah. I wish that could be nice. I wish that could be a thing, where you just make up with someone, just give them chocolate. Chocolate won't cut it next time. Alright, alright. Just this once. Just this once. Alright, okay. Share it? Yeah, can I have some? Please, I did technically buy it for myself. Take it. Well. Ooh, if you can. Hey, hey, stop being such a tease. Hey, now. Hey, now, not on this back alley street, Xander. Come on. All right. Oh, we can go here. Oh, hey, there you are. Oh, and then the, sudden, the new character that we um we met on the title menu. Who are you? It's called an inf it's called an infection. I told you to stay at home and stop trying to walk on it. Ew, did you, do you, are you talking about a foot, inf or like a foot fungus or some shit like that? That's gross. That is nasty. Your potions are not working, woman. Well, it's because you keep walking around on your freaking infected ass foot, okay? God damn. They are called medicine and they will work if you stop walking on your infected foot. Go home. Yes, exactly. Take your crusty ass. Ass. Walking around with your biblical looking ass feet. Do the world a favor, chop off your fucking toe. God damn it. Just give me a potion, I need to get to work. Well, psh, no. I can't believe I volunteered for this. Look, mister, for the last time, I do not have potions, and even if I had had them, I wouldn't give them to you. Potions are basically useless in your situation. They will only ease the pain and not heal the infection. You might even end up having your foot cut off. Oh, useless things, potions. Hey, potions aren't useless. Oh, you're getting into a fight? I thought we friends here. They are, if you are trying to actually heal someone without the chance of accidentally turning them into frogs. Well, I guess she, does, she don't like magic. That's not true. Alchemy is not that random. If you, if you believe that, you are either a very bad alchemist or a very fanatic one. Maybe both. Uh, I, that, I'm not. I, herbs, herbs, we have herbs for healing. Sure, because slapping some mushrooms on that mouth rash works wonders. Well, it does sometimes, you know. Do you even know how many people die every year because of wrong treatment by your alchemist? By you alchemists, half of the time I treat patients you worsened. Oh, okay. We are only trying to help there aren't enough medics around. Yes. That's because you advertise alchemy like it can be used in medicine. People think bubbly pink potions and glitter dust can heal everything, so even kids want to become alchemists instead of medics. Because of our training is, how to say, and not as fancy as yours. Well, becoming an alchemist requires intense training too, it's not always pink and bubbly. Really? Do you start your training at age 15 and graduate by the time you are 30? And even if... And even then, it's not enough. You need ex an extra five years of apprenticeship in a clinic, working with veteran medics. Not to mention the amount of books you have to read and the amount of time you have to spend near cor to spend near corpses. Ah, sounds like you know, becoming a doctor, medical school. Yeah, yo. You guys should stick to fireworks and colorful frogs for festivals. Hey, now. <gasps> That's an insult. You take that back. Nice place. Very cute. Love the curtains. Hey, guys. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. It's good to see King Kale finally decided to st finally decided to send his soldiers for aid. Uh, uh really? Uh, I am no. Uh, the bandits come at night, usually from the back door. We use the we use for heavy injuries. They steal bandages and expensive medicine for serious illnesses. I have sick kids in here and no security. I'm not a yeah. Uh, the, what are you? Where are the rest of your people? I have heard about the unusual strength of nobles, but I don't think you can handle all fifteen of them. They might be armed and dangerous. But I don't work for him. <laughs> I'm not from the Silver Order. I think I met your sister back in Valon. She must have sent you a letter about me. Maybe. By the stars, you are her, Princess Ida, correct? And who are you? But if you are here, oh my, King Kale is coming here, isn't he? Yes, and he's not very happy. <laughs> He is, and I have to be honest, I'm not going to be petty. I'm not- Ah. He is, and I have to be honest, it's not going to be pretty unless I convince other other country leaders to fight with us. Yeah. 
I understand, then I will stay here as well. Tend to the wounded soldiers. I have some pull. I have some pull with the Duranian government. I might be able to ask them for aid, medical supplies, and more medics. How much time do we have? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Doc, a week, a month? Yeah. Kyra, it's Kyra. I'm sorry. I often forget introduction is the first thing you should do before starting a conversation with another with another individual. I'm afraid social interaction is not my strongest point. Nah, it's all good, Kyra. I don't, I don't care. Hey, don't worry. I've met worse. Look, it, it look. If everything goes right, we won't even need an army. Maybe Kale would just back down if we, we, if we unite against him. Do you think he will back down? No. I don't think so. No, I don't think he will back down, but I won't either. One way or another, I will finish this. Is my sister aware of his intentions? She is still in Volan. I fear the worst. Oh, haha. -ha. Don't worry, my brother may be a murderous lunatic, but he is not stupid. He wouldn't kill anyone in cold blood in front of other people. He prefers to do it in secret and dark places like dungeons, deep in the forest, abandoned castles. Trust me, I know. I was there, you know, for two days. It wasn't good. This is really troubling. Is there anything else I can do to help? I can't just stay here and wait for him to arrive with his armies. Uh, there is something actually. My scars, they aren't healing fast enough. The king will have special weapons that will turn people into... Well, let's just say this side effect is very creepy. I think I still have whatever they make using those weapons in my blood. If you have something to heal them or stop the transformation, it will save a lot of lives. Yeah! Very well. I don't know what it is, but I will try to find out. I I will need a sample of your blood and examine the wounds closely. Yeah, so apparently Tilly found out that the weapons, uh, they didn't have any sort of magical, well, I guess they did have some sort of magical property, and I think it was alchemy, and she was said it was a transformation kind of spell, where, like, that's how they are turning people into the silver people, and it's not affecting, like, uh, nobles because they all technically were dead kind of thing, so yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright then. Ah, there's one more thing. Since it's probably a magical weapon of some sort, you should work with my friend Tilly. I know you don't like Alchemist, but she really is a, but she really is good at this. If you two work together, you might be able to find something faster. Time is running out and I need to know, Doc. Yes, please. Put your differences aside and just work together. Hmm. <laughs> Tilly, play nice, please. Fine, whatever. Do you do you have a lab? Yes. I have a small kitchen. Well, ah, so fine. That can work. Works, I guess. Yes. I'll boil water. I'll bind Ida. Hey, bind her. You'll see. Oh yeah, I'm a little finicky when it comes to shots and medicine and the shit. So that. Okay, I have some ropes you can use. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I don't think ropes are necessary. Oi. Okay. And you are. Are you the girlfriend? You the girlfriend that we're looking for? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm a little busy right now. But I. Oh yeah, you are the girlfriend. Okay, so we like we got a letter from like Gabriel, who was one of the guys working at the Silk, and he gave us a letter to give to his girlfriend. So yeah, we're here. Hello. Wait, you are Ria, right? I have a letter from your boyfriend. Yeah. Thank you for bringing this all the way here, but I can't accept it. I told him not to talk to me again. Oh come on. What did you two fight about? I mean, well, he is working as a a lover escort kind of person but still i thought you would be in understanding about that well he seems really sad about it yeah that makes the two of us but some things just don't work out the way we want it to we want to yeah i don't know what happened but it seems like you two are still pretty much in love yep i'm not an edition ma'am i'm from durin and we aren't quite used to edition ways having multiple spouses partners whatever oh yeah that is a thing that is a thing Apparently having one spouse or one partner is, sel is considered selfish, so yeah. I know this is normal for him, but it's not normal for me. Look at his job. He tells so many women he loves them all day long, and when we are together, I just can't be sure if he means those things or if he says them because he's, he's used to. Oh, right. Right. I figured this would be a problem. I thought you would be the understanding type when you got into a relationship with him, but okay. Alright. It's understandable. Ah. Uh, some things have no solution, apparently. He's an addition and I'm not. Oh, come on. Talk to him. Talk. Wow. <laughs> Maybe you should tell him what you feel about his work. Maybe he will quit. No, he's not going to quit. We already talked about it. He has been working on that place for years. There is no way he will quit. Even if he did, he says he doesn't have any other talent. Sorry, I appreciate what you were trying to do, but it won't work. <sighs> I tried to be honest. I tried to talk to her. Like... I tried, I don't know. I'm just not good with these people. Like, I have not so far convinced anyone of anything. Jesus Christ. Alright. Alright. Let's just go back to the market, I guess. Yep, because we got our shit. So, to the silk. Alright, so about your girlfriend. 
Hello, ma'am. Do you need anything? Well, about your girlfriend. Uh, why can't I talk to him about it? Uh, yes, because I probably failed it. That's why. God damn it. Okay, anyways, I got my shit together, okay? I got you the materials, Catalina. Yeah, so now I'm broke as fuck. Ah, uh, great. Leave them here, honey. I will start working on your dress now. Alright, how long will it take? Last, not long. You can wait here and look around in Odisha. Your you can wait here or look around in Odisha. Your call. Alright. Okay, thanks. Let me know when you're done. Will do, sweetie. Alright. Cool call. Um, yeah, bye. Wait for your dress. Because we, we kind of did already talk to a lot of other people, so yeah. Should be done by tonight. Alright. Yeah, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Wow, your dress is finished, sweetheart. Try it on. Oh, how do you plan on getting inside? Yes. From the gardens, I can't risk being seen by the order. It won't be easy, Diego. Not only getting in, even inside the palace, you will have trouble if you are not careful. I'll be careful. Alright, I know you will. I wasn't talking about you. Up. Uh, does that mean you're talking about me? Gosh. God damn, this is... There's not much to my dress. <laughs> uh, ha. Hi. Yeah, hi! You like the dress? You like the shit? I like it. What? Yeah. What? Nothing. What? Yeah, yo, I look good. I look good. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the, uh, curtains. <laughs> sure. Uh-huh. So, what do you think about the curtains? Lots of things. Oh, yeah? Good. It looks fine on you. Great. Good luck, sweetheart. Try not to get into trouble. Well, I can't promise you that. Uh -huh. Try not to get into too much trouble. Yep, that's what everyone tells me. Take someone with you and meet me in, and meet me outside. All right, here we go. Who am I? I gotta choose somebody. <laughs> I gotta. I just only met you, girl. Okay, who am I gonna choose? Sky, Xander. I don't even know. Cole. I mean, Cole is a reliable one because he is technically my bodyguard. But like, still. Ah oh, no! Don't make me play favorites. How's my How's my groupie? How's my How's my romantic level? All right, all right, okay, all right. You know what? I'll take Xander. I'm gonna take him. Xander, let's go. I may need you to burn stuff. Yep. I'm not your personal torch, Ida. Oh, come on. Come. On. Oh, money. Oh, and more. What is this? Oh, addition earrings. Oh my God, they're gonna. They are gonna be perfect for my outfit. Look at this shit. Ah, oh, yes. The whole outfit is complete. Anyway, let's just go to the clinics. Oh. Wait, something's wrong. Why? Coming from the clinic, let's go. What is it? Is it? Is it bandits? Tisk tisk, stealing from the sick. Even I never do that. Wait, I know you. What the fuck? <gasps> hey, what the fuck? You're that market dude, and you're that dude that came in with the thing, and you're. Oh my god! What a small world. Let's get out of here. Nobody said we'd be up against the nobles. Where the hell do you think you're going? Yes. Shit, catch her. Wait, nope. Yeah, burn the shit. Yes, do it. Uh, ah, I'm just doing what I've been told. It's the woman's fault. What? Speak fast. Yes, tell me. The woman, the Doranian, she told me to steal. She said she would give us a cut if we stole the expensive medicine. She made a plan and everything. <gasps> Is it Gabriel's girlfriend? Is that it? <gasps> oh my god, Doranian? Kyra? Kyra? Really? Not her, the other one, the younger one. <gasps> it is, it's Rhea, it's Rhea. Yes, I told you to keep your big mouth shut, you idiot. I cannot believe you, oh my god. Thank god he's gonna dump your fucking ass. Fucking petty ass little piece of shit. Rhea, this is your clinic, why would you... Why would I? I've been living in this shithole for years, trying to fix this, trying to fix these sick people. And what do I get in return? Ria, come here and do that. Ria, come here and do this. I never get a simple, simple thank you. No, every praise has to go to the bright young medic, star of the medic medical school, teacher's favorite Kyra. Ah, oh, come on! Why are you get so jealous for Jesus? I was going to get away from this place with the money, live a life of my own, out of her shadow, out of this stupid, filthy place. So, what are you going to do? What happens now? Tell you what, if you let me go, I'll give you half the money I saved to get out of here. It's around 50 golds. I'm sure you would like that, right? Oh my god, you're bribing me with money. Deal. I can't let you go. I can't let you go, Ria. You stole from a clinic. These people are sick. They need their medication. You're going to jail. I'm already living in hell. I don't care anymore. All right, there we go. But what's that? That's that. Jesus Christ! Never would have thought that would happen. Ida, let's move. All right, let's go to the back street then. I mean, no markets. 
we didn't go to the markets. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to be? Hello, Diego, what are you, what are you, where? This way? Diego, Diego, direct me, please. Oh, to the palace, I'm sorry, I just totally missed that. Halt, state your business. Hello, I have a business, me business meeting with the queen. I brought her a slave from Milan. Oh, so that's what I am. <laughs> oh, is that the slave? Yes, I am the slave. A mage caught this noble alone in the wilds, who was willing to sell her for a good price. She was trying to defend herself, so I burned her a little. I hope you don't mind. Minor burns should be healed within a week or so. Burn in hell? Uh, the wounds look bad. I don't think the queen will pay much for her. What? I could keep her to. M I could keep her for myself if you would like. I like the way her flesh burns. Such a fragile little thing. Hey now, Xander. No, please. No, I promise I'll be a good girl. Please don't. Not again. Goodness, see, quite docile for a noble, too. You may pass. Don't bother the guards. A servant will show you the way. Nice, alright. Alright, nice. Good acting. Nice job, all y'all. You enjoyed it a little too much. Yeah, you did. I did not. That was acting. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna sleep with my. I'm gonna sleep with my daggers under my pillow from now on. I know that's silly. You think daggers would stop me? Ugh. <sighs> uh. <laughs> Hypothetically, I mean hypothetically. Oh, okay. Ida, before we go in, the queen. Right. She is not, uh, not the most sociable person in the world. She's been alone all her life, and she had, and she had to give up on many things for her country. Right. So, are you trying to warn me, or are you trying to protect her? Forget it. Let's just go. Don't push Diego. I won't let her get hurt. Who? What? You know who? Sky. Yeah, Ida. No, you were right when you said we were alike. We are alike, and I know how you, and I know how it will end for Sky. You'll break her heart, and I'll break your neck. Yep, pretty much, Ida. I'm helping you out because you're the only person who can stop your brother. But that doesn't give you the right to meddle with my private, in my private affairs. She's not your child, but I am her sister. But I love her, and I won't love her. You are a noble. What do you know about love? You don't know love. You don't love anyone, and you'll never love anyone. You are not capable of feeling love, Ida. Hey, excuse me, I'm in a very committed relationship right now with a first with a certain elf, okay? Hey now, you can't even God damn it. Right, sorry, I forgot you were the brighter you, I sorry, I forgot you were the bringer of love. Right? God damn I know who I am, do you? Shut up. We don't have time for this move. Right. I'm in a very committed relationship, alright? We're going on two years. What the hell do you have on, huh? There's her room. Watch your mouth in here. In there. Yeah. Shut up. I'll go- I'll get in first. Wait here. What? Alright. I'm not a noble. You just had a disagreement. Get over it. Hey, get over it. I'm protecting my friend. No, you're not. You're trying to stop her from seeing someone you don't approve. Quite like my family, in fact. Yes, that's only natural. Your family? I'm not beating the shit out of Diego and sending Sky off of boarding school. Yes, you would if you could. <laughs> Yeah, but unlike your parents, I love Sky. They don't care about you. They don't even want to see you. Oh, hey, Ida, I know that, but they're still my family. Please don't say it like that. Yeah, that's a little harsh. Why? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna send me? Are you gonna set me on fire? Because that's what you do, right? Set people on fire when you can't control yourself. Pathetic little mage, trying so hard to become daddy's favorite, but he will never be because, like the pra like pathetic, because like the pathetic little shit he is, he will always cry and pity himself in the face of trouble. Hey, hey now, Ida, that's a little harsh. What are you doing, Ida? Why are you being dumb right now? Ida? What's wrong, Xander? Already lost it? Can't control your emotions? Maybe you should die? You must have thought about it, right? To kill yourself, that would be a sight to see. Pathetic to the end. What? Um, I'll leave before I do something bad. Yes. Ah, hurts. Damn it, hurts. Ida, what the fuck is wrong with you? She's waiting for you this way. Diego, wait, please. What's wrong with your eyes? Yeah. Oh, I can't, not now, I can't talk to anyone like this. I keep saying things I don't want to say. I'm sorry. It's my fault, right? Oh, no, it's not. It's just, I don't even know. Want to get even? How? Uh, do you know how I know Queen Kalita? Why? Were you, like, one of her harem guys? No, I don't. My father was working at that castle, at this castle, as a, yeah, at, I, head of the Queen's harem, Kalita's mother's personal servant, I was reserved when I was born to be, uh, well, someone like my father. Ah, figures. Ugh. I always knew you were a son of a- <laughs> Hey now, hey. Too soon? Ugh. 
Lina, we really need to fix that problem of yours, that split personality you got going on. It's not good. It's not good. Last. I, I don't make friends, Ida. I can't. I don't know how to. I used to say the same thing. Maybe one day I'll end up like you guys then. <laughs> end up with us. We are all equally fucked up. I know. Ah. Uh, not as much as you, though. <laughs> you go in, I'll make sure your mage friend is safe, or make sure he doesn't burn anyone or anything. That fight out, that fight sounded intense. Yeah. You gotta go apologize to him, Ida. I can't believe you said those nasty things to him. Oh, hey. Ida. Hello, Queen Kalita. You're looking ravishing. Dario, leave us. Ah, uh, yes, your majesty. I'd welcome you in a better state, princess, but unfortunately we don't have time for pleasantries. Right. My scouts say the ki my scouts say ki the king of Balan is building an army. Not silver, though, as Diego said. They are mostly Valodians and noble soldiers. Some paid soldiers from the Gao clan. He says something interesting, however. Apparently, they have silver weapons and they all use a special type of glove, making sure that they don't making sure they don't touch the blades. Makes me think your silver soldier might be real after all. Yeah, they are. Why am I here, Kalita? You know, hiding me in your palace means declaring open war. I'm a traitor, remember? Yes. So, um, what's the deal, yo? Maybe I'm maybe I'm declaring war. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. That's that's good that we cleared that up. With your help, we can show everyone your brother is in no shape to lead a country. He is unstable and is under the influence of a powerful organization. Silver Order. Yes, precisely. I need you to stand with me, Ida. I need you to tell everyone how dangerous your brother is. Do you have proof of this monstrous army Diego told me about? Well, uh, I not exactly. <laughs> Troubling. We need the other countries' help. We need Doragon and Ordarga. Yeah. What about the Moon Elves? The Moon Elves are a bunch of pussies. <laughs> I doubt they will help us unless we show them ev evidence they can't deny. They care. They won't care until Kale finally decides to take Ildis too. Right. Uh, he is collecting people, the homeless, the orphan, the refugees in his dungeons. We need something better, Ida. We need more than just your words. Nobody knows what you have seen, what Diego has seen, but they, but they won't believe your words. I know. Even, even I have trouble believing my words. I can hardly blame them. Last, haha. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud here. Let me know if I'm wrong. Those scars of yours. Diego said they were made by his silver weapons. True? Yes, they are. Yes, that's why they aren't healing fast. Interesting. If there are any way, if there was any way to show that his weapons are in fact made of made for turning people into silver soldiers, there might be a way. Kyra, a medic here in Adicia, is trying to find what's wrong with my wounds. The Durinian? This is good. Everybody respects Durinians. Where is she now? I have no idea. Oh, at the Silk with my friends. Right. The Silk? Yeah. Ah ha ha. Yeah. That last Diego. Ida. Yes. Yes. At the moment we leave this palace, you are out in the open. The Silver Order is watching our every move. Yes, so I've been told. I know, do you want me to find a way to... No, I'm just letting you know I'm tired of little games. I'm tired of hiding in the dark. It's time we show everyone everyone where we stand. This is my country. These are my people. I have sacrificed too much to let them suffer under someone like him. Yeah, you go, queen. That's right, queen. Dario. Yes, queen. Get the men ready. I'm leaving. Yes, your majesty. Yes, queen. All right, let's head out. Well, we're back at the silks. I had no idea. What do you mean? Uh, yes, I told you. Necromancy is dangerous. No one should play with another the person with another person's life. No shit. This is. It makes me so angry. What is wrong with you, magic users? Hey now, hey, hey. It's not my fault. I'm only an alchemist. Is human life that easy to spare? Why would they do that? It's all because of necromancers. Oh, stars. I hate magic. No offense, Xander. Yes. None taking Kyra. There's nothing I can say to make it sound any better. I leave for I leave for a few minutes and you guys manage to piss off the dock. Ida, I'm sorry, Bay! I didn't mean to say all those horrible things. Xander, I'm I I'm sorry, I didn't want to. I never wanted to. Oh don't don't say sorry and don't go full noble on me again. Oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> promise me. Well I can't promise you that, but okay, Xander. Promise me. I'll try. I promise. So this is the infamous Silk. Oh, hey, your majesty. My queen, it's an honor to have you here. Boys, bring the queen our best wine. There's no need. Yeah, I can't. I gotta go out on a mission. Can't, can't be under the influence right now. Sorry. Guard the entrance. I don't want any surprises. Uh, as you wish. Hello again, Kyra. It's good to see you again, Queen Kalita. I see you guys know each other pretty well, huh? 
I didn't know you two knew each other, yeah. <laughs> she ca she camped outside my palace and said she wouldn't leave until she had her permission to. She until she had her permission to open a free clinic in here. Wow, ha, huh, I like her style. Thank you again, ma'am. You hardly left my you hardly left me any other choice. Besides, I should be grateful I you are helping me you are helping my people for my people for free. Dang. Diego. Isn't it dangerous for you to be out like this, right? No, I was waiting for Ida to make up her mind. Now that we are at the now that we are on the same side, I don't have anything else to lose. I don't have anything to lose, yes. Except your life, yeah. I haven't been living my life for a long time, you know that. Yeah. You had a choice, you made it. And I see you still blame me for it. This isn't the time for this. Hey, got some history going on here? Gosh. You must be the alchemist Diego mentioned. I have heard of the exceptional talents of Il Ildician alchemists. Thank you, your majesty. Very flattered. And you must be the moon elven mage. I'm hoping you know how to control your powers. Forgive my bluntness for the- but for- eh. Forgive my bluntness, but the first mage I met was under difficult circumstances. Unfortunately, we had to end his life. Oh. I have received my training in Ilda's Academy of Arc and Arts, Your Highness. You won't have any problems like that with me. And you must be the elf on Sundrop Island. I've been there once. Beautiful place. Yes, lovely ocean breeze. Indeed. Hello again, Cole. I'm hoping your ankle feels better. What? You guys know each other too? What the hell is this small world? Why didn't anybody tell me this? God damn it. It does. Can't say the same about your friend though, your majesty. He got what he deserved. Ah, the little Illith, I heard you're quite dangerous. I'm dangerous. <laughs> Diego's little brother, Jace. So you really are cute. Haha. <laughs> I, uh, ha, 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 yes. And Ivana's daughter. You knew my mother. Wow, she knows everybody. God damn. I did, though Diego knew her better. I thought you said you didn't know her personally. Right, uh, not now. God damn it. How many lies have you been feeding me, Diego? Jeez. What's that supposed to mean? Diego? It's a long story. What? That's my mother, Diego. That's my mother you were talking about. Yes, Sky. I knew her personally. She was... She was the one who returned me into... Ah, she was the one who recruited me into the Eagles, Sky. She was my tutor. She thought she taught me everything I needed to know. It was her idea to take down the boss. It was her idea to become the Eagles leader. <gasps> Damn, girl. Your mom is a badass. Your mom was an Eagles leader. Like, she wasn't just, like, the greatest assassin, like the best assassin in the Eagles, but she was the beater. I've, if you want to know, I'll tell you, but you won't like it. I need to know. Let's go out, Ida. Let's go out. Ida and the rest should focus on Kale. Oh, wow. All right. So tell me, what have you found out about Ida's wounds? Uh, Sai, I still need time to... I still need time to confirm, but it seems like... Ida is basically half dead. The wounds are indeed trying to transform her into a silver soldier, but since she is technically dead, the transformation can't end. The human part of her is trying to transform, while the dead part of her is forbidding the transformation. Thus, the wounds can't heal. Wow, okay, so that's why it's not healing. All right, that's good to know. If she was a full noble, she wouldn't be affected by the weapons. By the weapons, yes. So, can we use this as proof of King Kale's silver army? I don't know, you know, just saying. It's all like... Bio it's all like a biology kind of thing, so I don't know. We can, we just need to show everyone her wounds. The blood that's coming from those wounds turns silver the moment it touches the ground. Oh, okay, that's useful. All right, if it works that way, then yeah, for sure. Thank the go thank the goddess. Yes. I'll send letters to the leaders of Arunia. In the meantime, try to find a way to reverse this transformation. I'll get my men ready. Kale's army will be here in a month at most. Damn, Ida. Hello. As the crown princess of Milan, what is your plan? I'll find soldiers, I'll train my people, I'll find supplies, I'll help Kyra. God damn, I ha- I... uh, I'm not very good at convincing people, just so you guys have already seen. I'll find supplies, I'll train my people, I'll help Kyra. I'll help Kyra, Jesus Christ. I'll stay here and help Kyra with her cure. Without a cure, any loss will give me. Any loss we give will be their gain. There's any soldiers that die on our side will turn will turn against us. This might be the only chance we've got. Yes, it's smart. True, the cure might be our only chance at winning this war. It is very brave of you to volunteer, Ida. Then I'm counting on you. I'll make sure we get the, the diplomatic help we need. Yes, good. I leave that to you. Then. God damn it! I gotta be the guinea pig. Keep the line in front. Make sure you send a message the minute you see them approach. Yes, sir. I guess we fight it in Adisha. We're gonna fight in the desert. We still have a few weeks until they arrive, Diego. What's the hurry? I'm being cautious. Exactly. You never know. And they might send their own assassins, you know. 
have the rest of the reinforcements, reinforcements arrived yet? I have no idea. Dwarves did, still waiting for the Sun Elves. Ida, about Kale, what do you plan on doing? Well, I can't exactly kill him now that, you know... I don't know, I guess I'll decide when the time comes. Yep. You know you can't kill him. I know that, alright, I know. But he won't accept surrender. We'll just lock him up or some shit, I don't know. Ah, Diego, are you concerned? I am. All of our lives are in your hands. I guess it can't get any worse than this. Heh, <laughs> thanks for that. So, uh, Diego, if something happens to me, you take care of Sky, alright? Like, what? I don't know. If I die or something, take care of her. Right? You won't die. Are you sure about that? Right. I mean, I experienced near-death twice, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm pushing my luck with three. Alright, that's just, I guess we're time-skipping, maybe. Maybe. That's very useful. I have something for, for blood loss, too. What? Ah, Ida, there you are. Hello. Uh, need needle time again? Yeah, I like needle time again. Yes, take off your pants. Hey, what? My pants? I used to love that sentence. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, I'm taking you I'm in the middle taking off my pants right now, Xander. Can you, like, go away? Needle time of the day. Ah. Uh, ah, cold. Ida? Yeah? Uh, how did you manage to burn- How did you manage to burn there? Oh. Pfft. Xander, you can explain that. Oh, my. Hee <laughs> hee. Not a word. Laughs. Jeez, Xander, you- Sick freak. <laughs> I finished Victor's prototype, girl. The hilts of your twin blades can now join together. <gasps> dang, shit, shit, son. Oh, oh, dang, look at that shit. That, that shit's good. Oh my god. Beautiful. Whoa. I know, he was good. Dang. Oh, Queen Kalita. Ah, I'm grateful. The Dwarven Army is, is, the Dwarven army is exactly what we needed. Hey, yo. Have you been eating well? Did Velodians treat you right? Did you make any friends? Hey, it's like... What's, this? What's, her, what's her face? Um, bleh. I totally forgot her, her name. Oh well, whatever. I read your article about women in Ildis, Annalie. It's, it was inspiring. Oh, you're a journalist? What the hell are you two doing here? Don't get, cl don't get too close to them, Phil. Make sure you are always at a safe distance. Alright. Boss sent you this necklace, miss. He says you would know what it was. He says you would know what it is. Is it for your mother's? Hey, isn't that the necklace back in Appletown? What the hell? They're coming, your majesty. Oh, wow, that's fast. All right. Well, it's Chloe. Oh, it's Chloe. Ha, huh, yes, I remember it. So this is a Chloe Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess this is it, huh? Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. Am I really gonna fight with these clothes on? Can I get something? Can I get something with a little more cover, you know? Like, this is a little impractical. I mean, it might give me more movement, but I'm really prone to, like, getting stabbed. Any last words, regrets, anything? Nope. Well, I do what I, I, my only regret is that I wish I, I could have a change of clothes. Like, honestly. Like, I ain't about to go out fighting an army half naked, alright? Maybe it might work to my advantage, who knows, but I am not gonna do it. Alright. I think this is better. I don't like speeches. You should get used to them, Ida. If you if we win, you'll be the queen after you will be a queen after this. Really? Then I'll start giving speeches when I'm the queen. Right. You guys ready? What do we do about Kale? I have no idea, but I really wish I'd change my outfit, please. Alright. I'm ready. I'm good to go. Even though it's a little I'm still a little exposed, but it's okay. I'll handle him. Just get the silver order and the silver army off of me. Yes. Ida. I'll wash your back. Yes, cover me. Watch your own back, I'll be fine. Let's go. Let's roll, crew. Let's roll, squad. Let's do this. We got this. Don't nobody, like, pass out from heat exhaustion, okay? Or have a heat stroke on me. Jace, get them off me. Exactly. God damn it. Leave the girl alive. Sinius needs her. Nah, hell no. Got it, gorgeous. We are fighting this shit. A little help here. Oh, come on. You got more AoE stuff than I do. Never mind, I got this. Exactly, Sky. Jesus. Don't make me run across the goddamn battlefield just because you think you can't handle it. Move. I don't think so. Poof. Did you shrink them? A group of soldiers from the Order just entered the city. The king is with them, Ida. The king is with them, Ida. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Get some of my get some off my back. I'm going in. All right. Ida, go. All right, Xander. Bye, Bay. <laughs> later, Bay. I'll see you later. All right, Kale. Where the fuck are you? I know you're here, Kale. Stop hiding and come out. There you are. Jesus, blast. Hiding? I was waiting for you, sis sister. Hey. Yeah, thought so. Yeah. 
Why did you kill her, Ida? To get to me, I presume. How long can you? How low can you get? Hey, it wasn't me, okay? Why don't you ask your goddamn advisor here? To get to you? Are you fucking out of your mind? It wasn't me, Kale. Why should I believe you? You're a traitor. Excuse me, I don't know. Why don't you ask your best friend, Sinius? Sinius, do you think I'm stupid? He serves me. I'm his king. He wouldn't dare. Are uh, you sure? Serves you? Is that why you are here alone? What? I'm... What? I came here on my own. Uh, I came here on my own. Of course I'm alone. Are you sure? Fucking idiot. You are here alone because Sinius doesn't give a shit about you, Kale. He doesn't care whether I kill you or not. He's not here because he has faith in my abilities. Because I... He is not here because he has faith in my abilities. Because I still have your powers, remember? Just saying though, like I don't think you're gonna you're gonna last against me. How many I mean how many how much combat experience do you even have, Kale? No, he is not here because I he, no, he is not here because if I kill you, I'll be i I'll be damn noble. He will win either way, Kale. Once you are dead and I'm a noble, he will try to use me instead. He just needs a noble on the throne, doesn't matter who. No, that's not true. It is true, you dumb shit. God damn it. Clearly I'm the older one. You know it's true, Kale. You know I wouldn't hurt your. You know I wouldn't hurt our mother. I don't even know her. He got rid of her because she knew. I know you can feel this, Kale. I know you can feel something is wrong. Come on, Kale. Redeem yourself here and now. You can still do it. The real enemy is is the same as you and me. You know we gotta take down Sinius. No, you're lying. You're a liar. I'll kill you. Oh my god, damn it, Kale. God, god damn it, Kale. He wouldn't- he promised- he promised father. No, well he doesn't give a shit about father. He killed your father. He killed our father. <laughs> exactly. You know it, Kale. You have to give up. Stop this now. No, I won't. I can't- why not? <laughs> Damn it. I had hoped you would stop, but I knew you wouldn't. I hate breaking promises, but I won't let a noble rule the lawn, not you or me. Oh, shit. So we both gonna kill each other? It hurts. Yeah, why don't we just each stab each other, and then we can just split the powers in half. Would that work? I mean, it, it sort of did. It hurts. Yeah, I know it hurts. Yeah, it's cold. I know. I know. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. I feel ya. I'm scared, Ida. Nah, it's all good. Me too. I'm sorry. Nah, I know. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's alright. It's not your fault. Not technically. Oh man, what's gonna happen now? Is this a flashback? Maybe? Yes? Oh wow. Oh wait, this is when- this is- I'm pretty sure he's talking about Kathleen, not us. Goddamn Jesus. Today we have gathered here to send up a woman, a great woman, to her place in Irenai. She was brave to say the least, and her bravery- and her bravery saved us all. But it cost her her life. Ah. She was a queen even in her last moments, proud and strong. It's Kathleen, it's not us. God damn it, I'm pretty sure. I could see it in her eyes the moment I met her. She was a hero, it was in her blood. Or maybe it is us. God damn. We dead? Oh, we dead. Nah. I guess my brother won't be lonely in Aaron. I know what. Nope, it's Kathleen. There we go. Ah. Uh, rest well, my queen, and forever watch over us. Yes. I can't believe this. the battle is already over. My goodness. Oh. And my Mac is low on batteries. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. All right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's me. Sorry, mom. <laughs> sorry, mom. I'm a little hungry. Ida, what? I'm hungry. A little respect. This is your mother's funeral. But I uh, blame Landon. He's the one who sent me on a secret mission. I didn't even have time to eat. Really? How long is this time skip? What the hell? Ida, King, King Landon. Ida, King Land. <gasps> He's king. Oh, that's so good. That's so great. That means none of us have to have the responsibility. Yay! Nice. I should have seen that coming. Hey, Uncle Landy! Hey! Ida, there you are. We need to talk. Fast. Follow me. Oh, alright. Uh, see? He doesn't mind. Sigh. Don't forget to drop it. Don't forget to drop by the clinic when you are done. Still need your blood samples. Oh, alright. Uh, Kyra, I'm fine. Wounds are healing. Didn't turn noble for a long time. I think I'm okay now. Yeah. Ida, you do realize that I can't constantly bring you back to life, right? What? I died? Did I die? Oh my god, did I die for the third time and was brought back to life? I sure can hope. I'll let you read a few chapters from the book I'm working on if you if you decide to drop by. Alright. Which one? Um, the one with the noble and the elven mage. Is it a romantic novel? Yes. I'll be right there. Alright. Okay. 
I'm a little confused at the timeline right now. Hello. I'm glad you're back in one piece. Have you learned anything about the mission? Well, yep, it's official. They are back, and I'm not. But I'm not sure how ill this is tied with this. Something's not right. What is going on? What about Sinius? All right. What about that bastard? Still missing. It's like he vanished after Kale's death. Kale died. Wow. We killed him. God damn it. I'm glad. Ki I'm glad Kyra was with you back in Adicia. If she wasn't there, you would be dead too. I heard you stopped the bleeding and restarted your heartbeat. As you restarted your heartbeat so fast, if she was a few minutes late, you would be gone. Wow, alright, okay. Yeah, I owe her my life. I remember her words, you know. I remember her words, you know. You can't die on me, I'm not gonna kill a queen. Kind of a dramatic. Yeah, kind of dramatic. She would be perfect if she stopped asking for my blood sample, though. Still trying to figure out how I became human when I technically died with Kale. Yeah, this, that's a little confusing. I, about him. Yeah, I, uh... It's okay, Ida. He was a good boy once. I'm glad the people still remember him as a good king. You saved him when you killed him, Ida. If what he did in his dungeons got out, what kind of person he he became under Sinia's influence, he would have been hated. The priestesses wouldn't even let us ascend him. Wow. Okay. I guess he was a victim too, in a way. I wish he was just mis I wish he was just misunderstood. But some people are beyond redemption. He was my twin brother. He was a part of me, a very pain in the ass part of me. I was so scared I was going to turn out to be like him. Is that why you declined the crown? Yeah, I guess. In a way, I can't rule a country. I can't make tough decisions over the people I I love. You know how the you know how to rule a country better than I do, Landon, by experience and the education needed. Besides. I never thought I would love peace. I even have a dog, you know. I have a people. I have the people I love, and I get to sleep until noon. And when I get bored, I can just take your secret missions for fun. But now I have a choice. A choice to be happy. Ah, this thing's worked out so well for her. Last, I'm glad you're happy. Just know that I'm here for you, Ida. Not only as your king, but also as your uncle. Oh, Uncle Landon. Thank you, Landon, and thank you for taking the crown instead of me. Thank, and thank you for taking the crown, yeah, instead of me. I don't know what I'd do if I, if you refuse. I'm not exactly the best queen material out there. Last, sacrificing yourself for the good of your people and very queen-like. Oh, sacrificing yourself for the good of your people is very queen-like, actually. Well, I didn't sacrifice myself for the good of the people, Landon. I sacrificed myself for me. I couldn't become a true noble, and Kale was never going to see reason. I did what I could to keep the memories, to keep the love I have for my friends. I swear, if I knew dying... the I swear if I knew dying for real was going to make me human, I would have died I would have died sooner. I came close to dying a few times anyways. Exactly! That's what I said. I hope your medic friend is glad with the clinic we gave her. It is a, it's a little small in my opinion, but Northcliffe is not a is not in good shape right now. She deserves more after what she has done for us. Yes. Landon, she chose to stay with me. I think she just loves tough situations, so a small clinic is like doing her a favor, don't worry. Anyways, I should go. Still need to find Sidious and kick his noble ass off to hell. Yep. Ida, make sure you find the seer. If the necromancers are back, they are cer are back. Cer they are certainly. Yeah. <laughs> if the necromancers are back, there certainly there certainly is a seer out there somewhere. We need to get him. We need to get him or her before the necromancers do. All right. So we need to go find. It. We're we're trying to find a seer right now. All right. Cool. Don't worry. I have friends all over Arunia. We will find the seer. Just make sure we are good with the Moonies or we will have another war on our hands. Alright, okay, doing some diploma diplomatic re missions here. Really? The end? Oh, really? Really? What? That's it? Are you kidding? Well, really? Make a chapter 4? Really? If not, oh, I didn't see a chapter 4, but I did see some other, like, Ascension kind of, like, series. Ah, uh, what? What? What's all this? What is all this? Hey, dear Matilde, something, dear Matilde, Matilda, or oh, Matilde, something is happening within the castle. I fear the worst. Please be careful. They might come looking for Ida. Tell her to stay away from the nobles, no matter what. They are unique with the. They are working with the eagles. They wiped out the knight's order. Be ca be cautious, Kathleen. Okay, that's Kathleen's uh, letter that she kind of wrote to the the Matilda or Matilde. Ildition Inferno by Catherine Lytton. Kyra Barnier and author of Oh hey, is this based on the true story of passion, love, and bravery? Is this is this based off of me? Yes, for my friend Ida. Yes, I got a I got my romance story written in a book. Wow. Anyways, I already told you everything I know. My mother was a 
apparently planning to take over the Eagles because their former boss was dealing with the nobles and selling kids. Kids, Ida, and can you believe my father? He he ratted my mother out to the Eagles. Doesn't justify the fact that Diego killed him in cold blood, but I think I understand him a little now. Diego loved my mother a lot, Ida. She was like an older sister to him. I think it would be good now that I'm in the Eagles. Diego looks happy. I will make sure the Eagles stay in line. Anyways, what are you going to get for Till's baby shower? She says it's going to be a girl. Kyra says it's impossible to know at this point. I hope it's a girl. I can't wait. Ah, so so her father was a little piece of shit anyways. But anyways, ah, oh, that kind of it well worked out in the end. Oh, more letters. Who is this? My dearest Ida, how have you been? I haven't heard from you ever since Victor's funeral. I hope you are staying safe. You should visit us at Sundrop, I, at Sundrop sometimes. An old woman like myself don't have many friends. I always thought Phelan would be back in Sundrop when he was done helping you. Glad he has finally found some friends. He needed to loosen up a little. He, he even sent me some some drawings of a young child for, of a young child, saying the child may need proper education because she is apparently a genius. P.S. Mel Melvin says hi. He is glad you haven't bring the end of the world. Ava. Oh, Ava's that old lady. Uh, yeah, it's sun drop. Gorgeous. No sign of the seer yet. App Appleton is so loud. I constantly have headaches. So many people and most of them are just annoying merchants. Oh, last night there was a... Oh, last night there was a... There was a right in the tavern? A fight in the tavern? God damn it, Jace. Your handwriting is worse than mine. And there is, and there was this girl who kicked total ass. She was serving beer one second and breaking mugs on Bandit's head the other. Maybe she used the seer. Maybe I don't even know. Anyways, if I find more information, I'll let you know. What does the seer look like, anyways? P.S. Tell Skirts I found some information about his old teacher. I'll write to him as soon as I can. Night, Captain Jace. Work on your damn penmanship is what you need to do. Thank you, Ida. In the meanwhile, I will stay in Ildis and find out everything I can about the seer. Maybe he or she is a student here. I heard that there was an exceptional mage in the first years. I'll let you know if I find anything. Are you sure the information about my teacher is correct? Jace is not exactly a reliable source. I'll see you soon. P.S. I miss you so much. It's driving me crazy. I accidentally burned a few parchments just thinking about you in the library. I was kicked out. Xander. Ah, <laughs> That's so cute. Oh. Phelan, Solon, there is no ne there is no news of the seer in Odarga. I'll check the fire camp next. It's been years since I've last it's it's been years since I've last been there. Uh, home after so long. I will let you know if I find anything. I have heard rumors of a certain of a certain archer there. They say she is very talented. Maybe it's the seer. I'll find out soon enough. P.S. It was a good idea to bring Cena with me. She made some friends with the local sun sun elven kids. Phelan. Well, everyone's like all over the place right now looking for this seer person. <laughs> Ida, the seer is not in any of the camps I know of. I will try I will try traveling east. I heard that there was a Dagaken camp there. Can the seer be a Dagaken? That doesn't seem very likely, but I will check it out anyways. I heard there was a very worthy warrior there. Maybe that's who we are looking for. I'll let you know as soon as I can. P.S. I met that chatty soldier. I met that chatty scholar back on the Savage Princess again in my travels. Apparently, he learned that his daughter was exiled from their camp. He was very upset. What? Really? Was it? No, can't be. Can't be talking about what's it called, um, Cena. Because yeah, Ida, pregnancy is killing me. I'm so bored. Aridin doesn't let me near potion near my potions, and he keeps feeding me. I feel like a glorified pet. I miss our adventures. The baby's very excited too. She never stops moving. Kyra says it's too early to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's a girl. I can feel it. It's so funny, Ida. I've never, I never even saw her, but I love her so much. Oh, by the way, you are coming to the baby shower, right? Can you bring some of Alon's famous apple pies from Apple Town if possible? I've been craving apples. By the way, I read Kyra's latest book, and whoa, did you really do all that stuff, or is it just pure fiction? She says it's based on real events, so I'm wondering if it's really fiction. Just how fiction is it or is it all true is it i don't know what crazy shit did i even do in that that book jesus christ ida you skipped your appointment again i need to check on your wounds i it may look like it's completely healed but i still need to make sure it doesn't leave any kind of infection behind you started working you started working too soon in my opinion you should have rested more very reckless of you by the way i've got a lot i've got a letter from kylie Oh, it's Ky it was Ky it was Kylie, not Chloe. God damn it! It was Kylie saying she doesn't know how to find the seer. I will join her in a few weeks for the search. There are many talented people in Durin, so maybe your seer is there. Before I leave, please come to the clinic. I'm sure you don't want to turn full noble out of nowhere. I'm just making sure you stay human. 
Also, I appreciate you trying to find a suitable mate for me, but as I said before, I'm not interested in any kind of relationship at the moment. I'm sure the innkeeper is a very nice man, but I really don't have time for it. Yeah, you go girl, you do your thing. Anyways. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. I'm Yeah, I was stuck. Anyways, is that all that we can read? Really? All the letters all done? Really? Everything? Are we done? Oh my god, we done the game, you guys! What the shit? Anyways, I really liked this series. I liked where the story and the plot was going. I thought, like, it ended too soon in my opinion. Like, honestly, the whole, like, um... Working up to the point where it's Kale and his armies and like, you know, the fight and shit like that. I feel like it all ended a little too soon for me. A little too like, like, just kind of like, goddamn kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just too soon. It was too soon. Like, I could have, there could have been something more before, you know, Kale and Ida end up stabbing each other or whatever. And yeah, so, yeah. I think that was my only kind of like, um, only kind of nitpicking thing that I had a problem with with this ch particular chapter but anyways I think overall the plot of this entire series like I said is really is really good I liked it I liked it a lot and I liked the, the, the character developments and such but also what really frustrated the most as well is that I need to go back and I will go back to do probably a separate episode on um, Trying to complete all the quests that I failed miserably at because I wasn't consistent with my traits. So um, I'm probably gonna have to do the whole start new game again. Uh, do also the mini games as well that I failed at, and I, there's a lot of things that I failed at in, in terms of like the side questing. So I'll probably include that in either this video or in another video, depending on how long it takes me. If it's not too long, I'll probably squish it into this video and just it'll be just a little extra long. But anyways, it's the final episode anyways for this theory, for this chapter series or this just chapter, just this chapter. What am I talking about? Anyways, yeah, so. Thank you all for joining me on this uh, Let's Play and I will see you guys in another Let's Play soon. Maybe I'll check out that other Ascension um, uh, franchise that the, the creator has also been working on as well. It's not a full game yet, it's only a demo I heard. But yeah, I will definitely, probably will definitely check it out. Put it as a demo Let's Play for you guys to see and for, yeah, and I'm curious to see what it's about. Maybe it's about the whole Seer thing. Maybe we are we play as a totally different character, not exactly following Ida around and making her choices. Maybe we're like a totally like our own character and ourselves and we are the Seer that everyone's been looking for. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be cool. That would be really cool if it is. But anyways, I will see you guys until then. Bye! Hello everyone and welcome back to this part of Ascension Chapter 3 where I try to go back and complete all the quests and the little mini games that I failed at because I just can't do this. I, I just suck at these things. Anyway, so yeah, we are back again uh, in this particular kind of new section of the video or like a completely different video, a little add-on here, a little mini-sode where I go back and complete all the quests and the first one on my list is we're back all the way in the beginning where we're gonna have a drinking contest against Tilly in order to win us a pair of some nice ass earrings that we failed to get because I suck at these things. So anyways, um, one of you pointed out that in order to keep Ida sober and you know last throughout the entire drinking competition yeah, against Tilly is to... Um, I think it's to click on like drinks that are only three of a kind, I think it was. I, th I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, if that's the case, I can't remember. Anyways, yeah, so hopefully this time I'll take it slow and I'll actually look over the, the drinks and the selection that we have and try to figure things out and hopefully get us the earrings. So anyways, let's go. So, we're gonna skip the dialogue because we already know what's happening. Alright, let's try this. I think... Uh. Uh. Wait, okay, is that even- is that even right? Wait... I know there's two! Wait... That, uh... Is it two of a kind? Three of a kind? One of a kind? This- What the fucking piece of- Can I just not drink at all? <laughs> what is this? Uh, let's try for a two of a kind, because I see two of a kind drinks here. There's one of- okay, let's try this one. 
Oh, okay, so it's a little... Okay, it's still, it's still getting me f far more drunker than I really should be. Am I gonna have to do this, like, over again because I suck at it? Like, I have no... What? I don't get it. I'm looking, you guys. I s I'm trying to figure this shit out, and it's not working. Uh, what am I doing? Well, okay, never mind. That's bad. Oh god. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Okay, okay. This is alright. I think I think I'm okay. Tilly's a little Tilly's like halfway there. I made the mistake of clicking on that one. That's not good. Alright, 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 okay. Uh, I think I swear it's three of a kind. Okay, let's let's look around some more. Let's see. One, two. No. Cause I clicked on this one and it didn't get us that drunk. Can I click on it again? Will it still give me the same result? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm doing it you guys! I think I'm doing it. Okay, I think it's three of a kind. You gotta match the three of a kind bottles, I think. I think. Okay, let's try for this green this one. Alright, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Alright, it's okay. I'm still I'm still doing better than Dilly. <laughs> Alright, okay, um, let's see. One, two There's only two of them. One, two oh wait, two wait, what? No, that's not it. It was part of that one. Okay, fuck. Fuck! Okay. Alright, uh there's only two of each. What do I do? There's two of that. And there's two of that. Okay, well let's try for this one, I guess, because I already clicked that one. Ooh, there we go. All right. Do I just does this one? All right. Yes, I'm going. Yeah, I beat Tilly. Yes, yeah, this is who I want. I won. I whoa, sliding floor. Still really drunk. But anyways, I'll just lay down for a minute. Yeah, you do that, girl. I am drink you this time. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Me too. Let's just lie down together. I can see. Flying bugs. That was entertaining. Yes, help your wife. Sigh. Both of you, help us. Yay, we won Eyes of the Sea earrings, which... Yes, we got our earrings, you guys. Okay, so that's that. That is that. So I'm probably going to skip on ahead like a shit ton until we get on the boat. That's why I failed most of the quests. So hopefully, I'm still using the same answers as I did with my first run with this game. So hopefully, because I choose honesty more often than not, then like hopefully things would work out. If not, I'll choose the best answer that, that is there. Okay, guys, we are on board the, uh, the princess, I believe. Was it? Is it the princess or some shit like that? And uh, we're on Nina's ship basically and we're on the front deck or on the deck and we're talking to people and one of the people that we meet on deck to our trip to Valan is Anissa who is the blacksmith's daughter and we asked her to do us a favor and to not mention that we are on board the ship or some stuff because we're supposed to be undercover and we're supposed to be uh, a whole totally different person who's supposed to attend the ball. So last time I said lie or some shit like that and so I, I figured maybe like you know at least 10 points in the cunning scale if you want to lie. Alright, so let's just be honest. Like, can we persuade her? Maybe we can persuade her? Let's see our, like, our traits. Yeah, I think I got my good roll up pretty high, so let's persuade her. <gasps> I succeeded! I'm sorry for asking this of you, Anissa, but I wouldn't have asked if it wasn't a life-death situation. My good friend is in danger, and this is the only way I can help him. I know you have no obligations to help me, but please, I only need you to act like we have never met. Sorry, fine, but please do try to keep me and my family out of trouble. Yes, so we convinced her. I wonder if that would like change the story completely. Anyways, let's continue on. I'm gonna like probably do this fortune telling thing again. Okay, guys, so we are back again with these two engineers. And the first time I talked to Lisbeth first because she asked us to convince uh, her partner Khaled to let her continue on this whole like um, competition inventor thingy magic and. And I accidentally said convince Lizbeth because uh, I said I said she was there for like we talked to her first and stuff, so she should be the one to convince Caliph. So I accidentally clicked on the wrong one. So this time we're gonna convince Caliph, stick to our motives and say no, I will not. I didn't even know the conversation like before. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. He said he asked us to talk to Lizbeth about how he's just worried about her like 
being injured and hurt and he doesn't want to see her go through that trauma again and it was for her own good and to ask her to talk some reason into her but then I was and then so then yeah we we're like no I guess no yeah no what your partners you're in love your partners yeah, no, I will not convince her. You are partners. You're supposed to be together. You're supposed to support each other's decisions. You're supposed to trust each other. She seems like a reasonable woman. I understand that you want to protect her, but there are other ways to protect someone you love from harm. By standing by them, by facing dangers together, do what you gotta do. Just don't stop her. I, perhaps you're right. The project is too valuable to throw away now. I should have listened to her. I let my judgment be blurred by my, my emotions. Thank you, stranger, for talking some sense into me. Yay! Okay, Lizbeth, you happy with me? Thank you, thank you, Blanc. I know we can win this. Yay, we completed it. You guys didn't even give me any fucking praise for it. What the fuck? Oh, wait, fine. Anyways, I feel good because now we work things out. So anyways, we already know how to find, how to go about completing his little quest. And yeah, so I'm going to skip on ahead. And I will, you know, get back to you guys and show you guys any other quests or stuff that I've missed out on. Which is probably going to be at the ball. Alright, so I lied. It wasn't at the ball that was going to be the next, you know, quest that I sort of failed at doing. The other quest that I had to do was around town here. Which was, one was at the pub and was trying to convince the cook that, you know, that she hasn't met us or hasn't seen us and the other was the blacksmith like getting discounts and also at the potion shop to get discounts as well so let's try actually negotiating and seeing if like I instead of paying my 30 gold here and like you know losing out on you know um, the whole um, ah, the, 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 the nobat try because we couldn't we didn't have enough money to like pay them to pay them to be on our side when the time was needed so i was just wondering like maybe i'll take this time to like you know see if the story changes if we were able to pay the nomads enough money to be you know uh, to like you know become part of our alliance so yes let's try to persuade this guy so that we don't have to pay 30 gold <gasps> okay donate it go to go diego give it back now donate it um donate it no, you could say that you donated the farm to the orphanage. So nobody would believe that, Miss Ida. Oh shit! No, god damn it. So I guess you tried. Thanks, anyways. Oh, sorry, girl. Sorry, little girl. But anyways, and uh, aside from that, we also have uh, this lady here that we need to convince. So I don't know you. Are famous? No. Um, we tried. I don't know you before, which was an honest. No, which isn't an honest answer, but like... I need at least 10 points. I don't think I have 10 points in the cutting skills if you want to lie successfully. Yeah, I don't- I can't even- I don't even know how many points that is. Is that- does that look like 10 to you, you guys? I don't even know. I don't even know. So I'm just gonna go back to- I don't know you. But I'm pretty sure she's gonna be like, you're lying to me. Yes, yeah, see, I told you. God damn it. Ugh. <sighs> Let's try it again. I'm I am convinced. I, I like saved my game over, so like you know what? Let's just go back and let's just kinda like Let's try this again, you know. I got unlimited, unlimited I will get this right until things go smoothly. And I have infinite amounts of tries to do this because I saved it like right here. Okay, let's try per to persuade him. Let's go to Diego. We're gonna go to No wait, can we go to Diego? Because because, like, like they said, oh, like I, like they said, it was like we need ten points at least in our cunning in order to lie, like, to lie successfully. So I mean, you know, I was just right. God damn it! You can say that the girl's mother is Diego's long lost sister, and he's now giving her the farm to establish, to establish a good relationship. What kind of lie is that, Aida? That's a pretty shitty lie. I'm afraid no one would believe that. Anyways, I don't think. Yeah, sorry, little girl. We're not gonna pay for your little farm like this time, okay? Because I want to try some shit. Anyways, back to the cook. Let's try just saying I'm famous. I'm a famous poet. Of course, you know about me. I wrote a famous piece. Gotta run. Well, maybe you haven't noticed, darling, but I'm not, I'm not a poetry type of woman. Gotta run doesn't exactly sound poetic. I don't think there's no way I can convince this lady. There's just no way. She's gonna she's gonna just turn me down like somehow, some way. Ugh. Anyways, wait. Did I just see something like in my traits? Like, what is this? Oh, peacemaker. All right. Clever, ruthless. All right. I'm more of the peacemaker. Anyways, I give up. I don't think, like, in in the end, it would like matter. So let's just go. 
Let's just go here to the blacksmith and try to get our discount. Okay, let's try to persuade him. Did we persuade him last time? Because I think that failed either way. So let, let's try again. Oh my god. I hate you. Oh my god, I'm, been, I'm being consistent with my trades. My goodwill is what I usually go for. But it's not even working out, you guys. I am just so like, I don't think lying would, e would help either way either. So let's just try it for the heck of it. Okay, we're back here again, and we're gonna ask him for- We're gonna try to lie to him, even though I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work out. And, like, I don't want to intimidate him. He's, like, our good friend. Like, so, like, why should I even do that? So, yeah, let's just do it. Yep, I- st Yep. Some of the stuff- you Some of your stuff is broken, I'm pretty sure. No one will want to buy them anyway, so you should sell them to me. Half price. Last, do you think I was born yesterday? Sorry, kid, I would do it if I could. Uh, okay, fine. Anyways, I don't think we're- We're gonna, like- be able to do anything that anyways i'm also not gonna buy from him like the lock picks the lock picks and stuff because i'd rather go to the potions per person get the thing that melts the bars really quickly and then like you know just in case i can't convince the guards again then yeah i will use that and it's like quick and easy so anyways yeah um I f do i have to do this again because for the life of me i will i cannot like remember it so yeah i'm just gonna take a quick like snap of this again and just like yep <laughs> and to the potion shop we go we're gonna try to ask for the discount okay so i failed at the discount i don't think it's not i don't think it's gonna work out between me and the discount thingamajig but anyways i'm just gonna buy like these just so i know for a fact that yeah i'm gonna be needing it so, uh, and then for the alchemy thing, I'm just gonna do the ingredients shit. Wind on our side. The morning, and then we're gonna do- we're gonna do this thing again. Okay, you guys, this is like the one person that I didn't convince on good terms with. The first time we were at the Balan Ball, whatever, we are here at the ball, so let's try to like, convince him or char charm him or get him drunk. Okay, we can scare him because we're noble. Technically, so let's try that. You know what? Let's try scaring him Or charming. No, I don't think charming him would work. I don't think he would he's the kind that would fall for it He's very duty-bound. So let's let's scare him Boo uh, Ida Seriously, I said intimidate and scare him. What the? I scared you, didn't I? What's even? Uh, you should be scared. I'm everywhere, right? Please ma'am. I should focus on my I'm watching you always I'm so sorry, sir. My lady's not feeling well. Drinking is never good for her. Uh, I, yeah, miss, I, I don't want to talk about it. Ida, what the fuck was that? Like, excuse me. Like, I know that the traits are not good and stuff, but like, shit. The first time I tried to get him drunk, he didn't. He didn't want it. Is there no way around this guy? Like, seriously. Anyways, yeah. I'm just gonna continue and like every person that we meet. I'm just probably- Oh, wait, this place! Oh my god, how am I gonna convince that other guy? Shit. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm, uh, for the rest of the other people, I'm probably gonna answer the same answers I've done on the first try, except for the ones that I've miserably failed at, which was, like, this person, the guard here. I don't know about King Kale, I think either way, regardless of what we do, he's gonna, he's gonna, like, rat on us and, like, throw us in jail anyway, so yeah. I want that note, though. All right. Rats, the fight. I think we should try. We said rats in the beginning and like, I don't know. I feel like, have we completed enough of the, the quest of goodwill in order to like, you know, like when you see colored options, yeah, I know that. Skill for that some people are hard to persuade so they may require more trait points than usual. Really, do I have, okay, uh, let's just save this. And then, rats. Oh shit, okay, I knew that would work. All right, let's try this again. Okay, we're back here again. I'm gonna yell thief this time. Oh god, somebody stole my hat. Excuse me, someone, my hat, it's stolen. It was a very expensive hat too. Please go find it. Perhaps you have dropped it on the way here, ma'am. I do not see anyone here with a hat on. He is not going to move, let's go. Oh my god, I fucking hate this motherfucker. Like, honestly, like how... What? How am I supposed to raise my goodwill meter when I've only ever done so few things that require goodwill? Shit. Alright. Let's talk to him. Okay, so guys. I've decided that 
Instead of letting Cole speak in this very moment, I'm going to just outright just talk down on him because I ain't scared. I ain't no little bitch. Of course, your of course not, Your Majesty. I but I am hardly worth your time. Uh huh. Is that so? Excuse my bluntness, my lady, but I don't think we have met. May I know your name? I'm Eleanor Montgomery, Your Majesty, daughter of Sir Barnaby Montgomery and Lady Cecile Montgomery. I don't expect you to know my family, but of, co of course, but. I don't expect you to know my family, of course. We do not live in Volan, and like I said, we hardly, we are hardly worth your time. I think he's just being like, she's trying to play it off, but I know already who she is. You should look into people's eyes when you talk in Volan. It is considered ru rude not to make eye contact during a conversation. Oh. Hi. And he's like, see, I know, I knew it. Enjoy the ball. Ele Ele Eleanor Montgomery. Yeah, he knows. He for sure knows. He's away. God damn it. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Anyways, uh, we are here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go continue with the rest of the the other people, and we're gonna give the same answers. Okay, guys. So we are finally talking to Lu Bao again. In this one instance, before leaving the the nomad camp, asking her for her alliance in in times that there will be, and I have the money for it. So hopefully, I can like pay her once it comes across. Once they like the question prompts out. So yeah, you said your mercy is correct. Yes, I need your aid. What time comes if the if the time comes? I need all the help I can get. So here, your friend is the short ones. Countless thoughts on her mind. She told us about it. Do you know who I am? Then blah blah blah. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, you follow because you're you're cool and you you join world you two count me in oh yeah there is love and compassion in her song yeah we convinced this guy count me in the wind will fall yeah oh sounds fun it seems like we will be joining your noble girl may the wind take us only when our time comes thank you Luba I'm grateful is there anything do you want in return uh when the time comes my friend yeah yeah we'll find a fitting reward yay okay so we didn't even, we managed to convince her without even needing to pay her all right okay we can move along maybe that'll change the story I don't even know anyways another thing that is um something that I will do differently than the last time I I, I did it because we I said I it's creepy in terms of how she's like telling me that like nobles are are dead people that were raised from the dead using necromancy and shit like that and Ida's just like what and so instead of saying it's creepy I think I'm gonna try to max out my honesty trait like honestly like I gotta do this okay so let's say it's interesting I have to admit it is a bit interesting do you think perhaps there is a way to make me human oh Ida you already plenty human I know yeah but never mind what are you what are you talking about Ida what, what's what's happening Anyways, and last but not least, I think Cole, the last time I said, I told him to, I asked him what you want, so let's be honest and say stay with us. You're welcome to join us, you know, there's always room for a pair of super speed punchy hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you asked, Miss Ida, thank you. Aww, Cole, yeah, Cole, yeah, yes. No more, Miss Ida, you are Cole and I'm Ida, you don't serve me, you are with me, and you are free to leave whenever you want. I'm free? Yes, you are! Yes, yes, okay, thank you. If you weren't there, thank you, Ida. Nah, hey, I didn't do anything. Whatever you blackmailed, Diego was scared the shit out of him. Hee <laughs> hee, I didn't think it would work. I guess it really changes people. What? What changes people? Love. <gasps> Is it, does Cole know his secret love affair with Sky at that point? Maybe, maybe. And then we find out later. Ooh, okay, anyways, we basically talked with everyone. So let's go to the tent, talk to our uncle, and then be on our way to Adisha. All right, here we go. There's the girl, Rhea. And so let's try to convince her to not turn to the ways of the bad and, you know, steal shit from people. Talk to him. God damn it. Fuck you, Rhea. I hate you, Rhea. Why? God fucking damn it. I fucking hate you, Rhea. Okay, let's just go back and let's just see if I can convince her. All right, fucking Rhea. Just work it out already. God damn it, girl. She's probably gonna get mad at me if I say work it out or some shit like that. Jealousy. You're just jealous. Oh, Piff, you're just jealous. Get over it. What? what? That's ridiculous. Besides, it's none of your business. I'm sorry. I should get back to work. I don't think there's any reason, any way I can convince this girl. Like, I have got to be, like, goodwill 24-7, no matter what. Even then, I, like, honestly, my, my goodwill is so up high. Honestly, you guys, okay. Like, I'm trying so hard with this game, but, like, it's just so tiring for me just to, like, go back click through all the dialogue and save up to that point and to try to do it and stuff like that so I'm gonna give it like one two tries and then if, not, if that doesn't still if it still doesn't work out then like I'm just gonna have to leave it like I don't have time I don't got time or patience for this god 
Damn it, Rhea. Fuck you, Rhea. Things could have been good, Rhea, but nah. You just gotta be a bitch about it. Little petty bitch, anyways. Okay, guys, so we are back here again. Of course, Queen Kalita is with us, and she's all like, Okay, what do you want to do, Ida, while we, you know, get ready for this battle thing? So, um, last time I said I'll help Kyra with the whole, like, cure for just in case any of the soldiers kind of, like, get touched by the silver sword and get are turning into silver people. Mm, I should save, yeah, I should probably save, yeah, save game. Ah, shit. Shit, I hate it when the same thing does that. For some reason, it just pulls me back to a couple of, like, clicks away for dialogues away from, like, this actual choice place that I want to be at. So anyways, I'll find soldiers, I'll train my people, I'll find supplies, I'll help Kyra. Yeah, I said I helped Kyra last time. Let's go find soldiers. I'll find soldiers, I'll get nomads, farmers, men, women, I'll take anyone who can hold a blade. We need all the help we can get. True, we will need the soldiers, and I'm counting on you. I'll make sure we get the diplomatic help we need, Ida. Yes. And we did say we were have we did have nomads coming with us, so yes. Yes, keep the front. Yep, see them any minute. Yep, uh, yep. We have still a few days. Yep, we're gonna skip all this. Whoa, guys! I got a new outfit! What the hell is this? Like, we're at the funeral, everything's at the end. What's, what's, what's happening? She- wait, 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 hold on. Where were we- Was this just me? Is this just me tripping out? I swear I was in a different outfit. I did not see that before. Oh, come on. I did not see that before. What is this? Hello? Outfits? Really? Yo, that's a new outfit. I did not see that before. Whatever. What? What, a, what an outfit to wear to a funeral, Ida. Like, I know it's all black and everything, and you can get it, but seriously, like, you're showing too much skin for this. Okay, guys, so I continued on the rest of the game. Nothing really changed. Like, is it just me? Did I, did I do some shit wrong? But, like, honestly, I didn't... Like, I... I don't... I don't know. Like, just honestly. I don't know if I did it wrong, or if, like, I... I was, you know, like... Something! I don't know. But anyways, I got the same ending as I did the first time around, so... So yeah, I'm gonna end it here, you guys. I did complete some, like, you know, most of my quests. I don't know how I, I would manage to do the honest... The, uh, the other ones, like the ones with Rhea. Fucking Rhea. Anyways, but yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it there, be done with the series, you guys. It's just, yeah, like I said, it's really tiring for me to just click through all these dialogue and save up until that point. And even then, like, if, if I still do all the things correctly, and I still end up failing that, um, that quest, or that particular, yeah, that particular quest, it just means more work for me to try to just go back, start a new game, go through all that, work up my way up to, like, you know, the, the place I fucked up, and then, yeah, try to do it again. So anyways, I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on Ascension Chapter 3 and the Ascension series as a whole. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another Let's Play soon times. So for now, bye!